Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Yen's Battle, and today I'd like to show you how to create some sulfur pool bases. These would make great bases for some really stinky miniatures. Here are the paints I'll be using. You can find a list of materials in the description below. The first thing I did is I took some cardboard and I cut them into small squares that would later become my sulfur pool puddles. Then I took my squares and I used some scissors to carefully round the edges. Next, I took some fine grain sand and some super glue and I applied a layer of fine grain sand to the base. Then I glued a few of my small cardboard circles down to the sand. Then I layered more and more sand by applying more super glue and sprinkling fine grain sand so that the sand was taller than my cardboard puddle. If you like our stuff, stay tuned for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Once I had built up my sand enough, I added on some more cardboard puddles. And then I layered on more sand and super glue so that I had puddles at different elevations on the base. Now that the bases are finished, I primed them with some gray primer. I'm using my airbrush, but you could also do this with a rattle can. Then I base coated my models with some P3 Cygnus Yellow. I'm doing this with my airbrush, but you could also do this by layering up a few thin coats applied with a brush. After that, I watered down some P3 Kador Red Highlight, which is an orange. Then I applied this mixture to the base so that it flowed nicely in between the grains of sand. If the color is going on too strong in some areas, you can further thin it down using some acrylic medium. I then repeated the steps I took with the P3 Kador Red, and I applied some Vallejo Bloody Red thinned down onto the base. Next, I painted my sulfur pools with some Games Workshop SoTech Green. Once that was dry, I applied some Vallejo Escorpina Green watered down. As these layers of green dried, I applied more and more focusing closer and closer to the middle of each puddle. If you followed along with this video, please post your work to Instagram and tag Eons of Battle so that we can share it. Now that the bases are finished, I decided to paint the skirt with some Games Workshop Corn Red. And there are three finished sulfur pool bases. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.